How's it going guys? Chris back here again with some more Historic Brawl. Today we're checking out a Delina Wild Mage deck and this hand is sketchy. There we go, we'll keep this one. Um, I suggested Delina after, uh, well, from the comments and with some of the new Lord of the Rings cards, which I thought was a pretty... I thought would be easy to build it was not as easy as I thought it would be, but Delina anyways, she should be good, and we have not played, we haven't played RNG in a bit, so we might as well get some in. Uh, we'll start with Cold Steel Heart because we can't profit off of Mind Stone immediately. Hmm. And do I want to start there? I think I actually just want to get down like Magda first. Delina is an attack trigger. Maybe I should have got her down first. I don't know. I just feel like she's immediately going to hit a removal spell. Although you never know, our opponent seems to be a life manipulation deck. Trading is a bad sign. We're down Relic of Legends. We might be able to get down a Orthonian Hero of Lava Brink next turn for a Delaney attack. If we get one right, like uh, the highlighting is real. Okay. Uh, that probably removes Delena, but. damage divided as you choose. So we want three for this. And two there. Does hurt our turn a bit, but we just can't have we can't have our opponent with an active planeswalker and the ability to protect it. If they took Delena from us we can't let that continue to profit. Whew, about to say, what was I rewatching recently? I was rewatching. Oh, same of the arc. It's Marine Ford. I should know that because it's literally the place being attacked, but. Ah, sometimes memories are bad, man. No, nope, we don't want to do that. If we can make a bunch of smoke copies, that could be a uh, uh, smog. Not smoke, smoke is Dark Souls. Ew. Well, that's bad. We were already kind of mana screwed, and now we're just mega mana screwed. Time warp. This is looking rough. Although we're not out yet, right? Like, we have options, I suppose. Profane procession. This is a very Elena themed deck. You appreciate it. Alright, so there is a new word card. Black Market Connection. Pretty good one, too. Hmm. Resolve Time Warp. Uh, 
half the turn. Delena. 20 for 6. But I'm trying to not be extremely loud because I'm recording a little bit later than I usually would. Let's say to uh, fully date the recording. It is a pretty big holiday. So, uh, well, big holiday here, not anywhere else, but. And so in order to get recording done, I had to wait until things quieted down a bit. But that also means that people are trying to sleep, so I don't want to be extremely, extremely rambunctious. Uh, Delena has died again. Bro, would you not kill my commander? I need that for things. Ouch. Hmm. Dang it. We need to keep Smell as a blocker, even though it probably wouldn't have gotten us anywhere, but without Smell as a blocker, we just die on attack. On to game two. I, don't know, I feel like the more magic I play, the more punty I become. I think one of the downsides, hey, there we go. But I think one of the downsides of later recording sessions is it's generally harder to find a match. Although, I don't know how accurate that is, right? Because with the different time zones and all the people playing, different points all around the world, it's definitely harder to actually figure out when the the highest level of tracking um, traffic for MTG Arena is. Although I can't imagine it's I imagine it's US centric as far as uh, actual like traffic on the game site. Steam might actually have some interesting metrics on that because it is it has launched on Steam. Rude opponent? Like, you didn't even know what that did. You just destroyed it. <sighs> uh, we'll pass. Horn of the Mark. New card. Cool card. Dead card. Delena, if a horn couldn't survive, I doubt you will be able to. Eh, counterspell. Disappeared before you even began. Makes sense. What are other things that have been happening recently? But say I started a. Uh, I always try to have a other game in the background to balance out magic. How much? Time? I only can do three. So if we unseal, and then we electro dominance if we have to, or we could just come to fiery emancipation. What is up with our opponent? They are a part of the tribe, man. The, uh... The no permanents are allowed to survive tribe. I want to do 60 damage with the Star of Extinction. Oh my god. You just have a problem, opponent.
Do you have a counter spell? Nope. Okay. Well, it's probably game then. I say that it's not, but we do have the card advantage at the moment. We need another creature for Glena. So if we pay five for Electrodominance, no block. We can kill Arwen. She can put two counters on herself, right? So no, she cannot. Okay. So we choose three. We hit Arwen. Rude. Protection from blue and green should be fairly decent in this matchup. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Rude. Do they draw another answer? They probably should have just answered the sword. Kill that. Eleven. Uh, decline. <sighs> we killed Tamio. I think we might have stabilized. I was confident for a minute that I lost it when uh, the answer started coming down. And now we're confident again, I think. Although, like, this scry shenanigans is kind of scary. I wonder why, if they'd be. Hey, don't do that. Oh my god. Uh, that one? Decline, 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 decline. If something dies this combat, we get two extra combats, which is probably just enough. Uh huh. One. Decline, decline, decline. Okay, we got there. I had fun.
Hmm. Are you aware of Classic? I think he's the main synergy because each time you make a copy of him with Delane, he can trigger again, right? Because he only has a once per turn restriction. But that once per turn restriction applies to every copy of Aomir. So if you create a token copy of him with a new copy, that can trigger if something dies in combat, right? And if you get one to two extra combats out of the deal, you're up, right? Like you've essentially broken the uh the ones per turn restriction on him against shelob child of angoliant body and mind should be okay here it'll at least give us protection from uh shelob herself and probably most of the spiders because spiders are not known for being uh, holy black, although the um, the Black Planeswalker from Forgotten Realms is an example of a just black spider planeswalker. And she makes, I think it's two ones that are Reach and Menace, and they're just black tokens, so, so it doesn't help there, but I think we actually get down Ogre Battle Driver first. Feels more profitable if I'm being honest. <sighs> then we can play Delane the next turn and then immediately attack. Ugh. Feels good. If our opponent lets us, right? Like, they might not. Padzilla has the ability to read the card and prevent us from using it. I moved my mic around because it's a little bit unlevel. But I say my desk is a bit crowded. Uh, and you see the audio input capture on a. Uh, on OBS go red when that happens and it's like, oh god, that probably sounds terrible. Opponent is producing mana. Are they going to get up to six? They did. Is she six? She is six. Okay. Hmm. I think we, uh... Deal some damage, create a wolf, mill some cards. Mill against the Golgari deck feels bad. Feels pretty bad. Although we hit some. I didn't see any reanimation in there, but that a... doesn't mean it doesn't exist, right? Rude. Wish I had milled that instead of Assassin's Trophy. I would have taken a fifth land. Taken, I guess it would be a better, more accurate way to say that. Hmm. No block. I'll go down to uh, 15. Hmm. I guess we just swing. Let's get a 15 or higher. Nope, okay. Ugh. So Delena definitely dies. Uh, does anything else? The wolf? If they want to sacrifice the Lotus Cobra, which don't know about that one. Oh, wow. 
Okay, well. Did I not put it in my, I didn't put it in my hand. Oh, uh, well, that's bad. I think I might have to invasion of Kaldheim next turn. Although, if we draw a land, right, we can, uh, we can Ancient Copper Dragon and just haste it out, which should be insane. Should is operative, though, right, because we've accidentally pitched our commander into the graveyard. She's an elf? What? Dude. D&D uh, &D lore is wacky, man. It's wacky stuff. Oh, we didn't. We didn't find it. Huh. I think I'm pretty dead. One removal spell does it. What else would do it? I think that's all it really needs is one removal spell. They've also, uh, also have reach now. Battle Driver has to die. Uh, farewell, my brave soldier. Uh huh, that's not what we need. I think that's GG, if we're being honest, but. Guess not. Ward man. Ah, it was right there. Ah, it was right there, man. We were one card off. GG Delena. You deserve better. How much time do I have? I probably can't do another game. It's a bit of a shame. We'll have to come back to you. I mean, we have done like two videos on you at this point. But there's definitely a third. I didn't know she was an elf. Like... Adventures in the Forgotten Realm typing is wild sometimes, man. It's wild. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.